to want to host a webinar but find the software too expensive? Webinars are a great way to grow your list but often the technology can be really off-putting. Never fear, this tutorial will help. For the best blogging advice, subscribe to my channel and click the bell to be notified when I post a new video every single Monday. If you're struggling to set up your webinar on a limited budget or just have better things to spend your cash on, by the end of this video, you'll have a step-by-step -step method that you can use over and over again to run webinars for free. I've used this on my own webinars and now you can too. So let's get stuck in. I'm going to show you today how to create a webinar for free. So there's lots of great webinar software out there. If like me, you were wanted to do your first webinar, which I did recently, and you didn't really want to invest a whole lot of money in specialized software, then you can quite possibly do this for free with a little bit of technology, which I'm going to share with you now. So how I did it was using YouTube Live and a WordPress website. So they're the, the things that we're going to assume that you have for the purposes of this tutorial. So the first thing I did was set up a page in WordPress. So this is just any normal page. I have the Divi WordPress theme, so mine might look a bit different. So I just set up a page that was called, um, and I gave it the name of the webinar. Um, and then you can see I did, I have the option to give it a blank template, so with no header or footer on it. So if you've got that option, that's a great idea so that there's no um, sort of danger in anyone clicking off your webinar when they get distracted by sidebars, etc. Um, and all I did was set up a few different boxes. Now, as, as I said, I'm on Divi, so um, I have this option. But if you don't, it's literally we're going to go through each one of these anyway. So um, the first one's really obvious. It's just a text box. So I just um, it was just the title of the webinar and the date and time. So if you don't have this theme, obviously you just type that in as, as text, that's fine. Um, and then I had a code for the two technical parts and I added a countdown timer at the bottom because this was the page that people could um, see, obviously access when they had the link and it counted down to the time of the webinar. Now, as I said, I have Div Divi, so it has a built-in countdown timer. But if you just Google countdown timer, there are loads that you can put in a specific time, press go, and it gives you the HTML to put into whichever WordPress um, theme you have, and you can get your own countdown timer, which is a nice touch to build a bit of anticipation. So then when you've got your page sort of half set up and you know that you've got a page to put the links in, the next thing you need to do is go over to your YouTube account. So you need to go into your creator studio, which is, as you can see, I'm in here, and you go to the part where it says live streaming. Now hopefully this will load quickly. Now you go to events and then you schedule a new live event. I'm just going to schedule this as a test. And I'm going to put that it is um, 11.30 today. But obviously, you put in the details of the webinar name, um, if keywords, if you have them, if the webinar is set up like that, description, your tags, and then you would um, go over to this button and you leave it as um, quick, just leave it exactly how it says here. And then you would um, create a new event. Um, I would say it should be in the future because I am, um, so let's do it tomorrow. And then it should work. Okay, so now you see this thing, and this, this is the part that can be quite confusing and certainly got me the first time, is I couldn't find where my embed code was because um, I went into here and I went everywhere and I went into the main, the main part and I couldn't see it. But what you actually have to do is press the start hangout on air button. Now I thought that was going to immediately make it start, which I obviously didn't want to do. Um, but it doesn't. It just takes you to the screen where you'll see that I'm in the dark, practically. And um, and what you do is you click on the links button 
and then the frame comes up here. So you can see there, you can just copy that part there. And then that's all you need to do. So then you can, um, and you can see here how you can screen share when it comes down to the actual webinar. So I'm just gonna go through how you set it up. Um, but this is how you can pick what you actually want to screen share. So as you can see here, if I screen share that, which is the webinar that I used, um, then you can show that as well. And um, that's what's on the screen. So the, the ideal thing when you're doing this, just as a tip, is that obviously if you've got it here, I can't advance the slides from this screen. So what I did was I um, actually um, resized my window of the sharing sort of window and um, I just placed it over the top when we went live so that I knew what was going on. I actually had a little bit of a gap like that so I knew that it was advancing. And then I could advance it here um, just as a little tip because obviously you're not gonna be able to advance it on your main screen. And I wanted to sort of see what everyone else was seeing. So it's just a case of rearranging your windows a little bit. And um, obviously you'll have your chat box up as well. Um, so I just placed it basically over the top, make sure it all lined up properly. And I did this obviously just a bit before it went, before I went live, make sure it's wide enough that it's still, yeah, that's still perfect. So I could have that there and still have my chat box at the side, be able to advance my screen and um, it would still work out fine because everyone would be seeing what would be behind that. Whereas if you try and advance it just with this screen here, it doesn't work, which is just good to, good to know. So what you do then when you've got that link that we just had, so I'll stop screen sharing and I'll click out of that because I don't need that now. I've got that link. So all I'm going to do is go back to WordPress. So let me know in the comments what your biggest webinar issues are. I'd love to hear. And in this section, because I want the actual webinar to be three quarters of the screen-ish and the chat box just on the side. So I selected that and obviously you just drop the code in there. So as you can see, that's just the code. And I'll just leave it at the original one because I'm actually going to reuse this. But you just drop the code in there, save it. And then the next thing you have to do is go to get a chat box. And this all sounds um, more complicated, obviously, than using webinar software. But webinar software limits you and can be, most of them are around $39 a month for about 100 attendees, going up to $89 a month for 500 attendees. Now, my first webinar, I had 350 people sign up. Obviously, I'm not going to really want to invest on my first webinar at that kind of price. So and it is literally just a bit of text and a couple of codes. So there's lots of chat boxes you can use and these are free. I used Chatwing, which I'm going to show you now, just on recommendation. Uh, the other one that people use quite a lot is Chat Tango. But I had someone told me that Chat Tango sometimes freezes. So and I didn't want that to happen in my webinar. So as you can see there I use Chatwing and it's super easy to set up. All you do is go into um, so you want a chat box, so a live chat box. And then you can see it populates some of the things for you. So the most thing you have to do is just change this to the description of your, whatever your webinar is gonna be, webinar information there. And then you need to go to the color so you can change the color. Now I have, um, so you'll, it could be whatever you want it to be. I have this color, hang on a sec, I'll show you. So I've already customized the one I did before with this kind of duck egg blue color. Um, and that's what the chat box looks like. So it's a fully functioning chat box that comes up and then it stays there also so you can keep it, which is great. We'll just go back to here. So what you do then is use chat box. There we go. So when you've done the color and then you're going to go to the install embed interface installation. And as you can see here, you can move the chat box to be wider or longer, depending on how much room you've left on your page. So I think for me, that sort of size works quite well. 
Um, but you can go longer if you want, just so that more fit in without having to scroll. It's completely up to you. But the thing you want to get from this page is this iframe code here. So you literally just copy that and then go back to your WordPress, go into another box that you've left code for. If it's a code box or if it's not, you just go into the HTML, you know, the, the text screen, not the visual screen of your WordPress and just paste it in there. And then again, save and exit. And then as, as I said, I ha added the countdown timer, but you don't have to do that. That's totally up to you. And then you literally just um, save it. And what you should see when you go into your screen to preview it is you'll see the thumbnail that you've uploaded in YouTube as the whichever you know you can literally just add another thumbnail onto it or the one on your channel and then you can see the chat box obviously wouldn't have chat in it because this is one that's obviously um, been already been and gone uh, but you can put something in there saying hi guys can't wait to see you at the webinar or whatever and then that would just be a holding screen without this red um, button until it actually goes live and you can see what I did was I just had another computer beside me you could have it on a tablet making sure that that was all working and it absolutely worked like a dream and then obviously when you're so you're over in YouTube live and at the time it's set to go live by the powers of the internet, it just goes live on your page because you're just feeding through. It's like syndicating it elsewhere. And then the chat box starts up and you can just keep your this page on a separate tablet or phone or something so that you know it's all proceeding whilst you're over in um, the YouTube, you know, start in the Hangout, actually doing the webinar with your um, slides on the deck as well. So I hope that's helped and I hope that's given you a little quick introduction of how to do this. It is super, super simple. I was really worried about the tech when I did mine and it worked really, really well. And um, I sold £2,000 worth of courses in an hour on my webinar using this free software. So it's totally worth doing it this way. And the main thing is that you have no limits. So there's no limits to the amount of people that show up. So, and then you can also reuse, as you can see in my dashboard, you can see there that the webinar is actually still there. So I've set it now to private because I don't want anyone else to be able to access it now, but it's, it's still there to be reused as an evergreen webinar. So it doesn't go away. So I hope that's helped and I'll catch you soon. Bye. So now you know exactly how to create a webinar for free. If you want these steps written down so they're handy for reference, I've created a PDF for you so you can click the link below to get that. Also, if you want to join a community of women just like you, I have a secret society where I share up-to-date blog and biz tips that will help you turn your blog into a business. So if you like this video, please do let me know by liking it below, subscribe and share it with your friends. And if you found this video helpful, just comment helpful. I'll see you soon.